Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Gemsbach is an Apple consultant and we help you with all of your Apple hardware and software needs. Today we're going to build a USB installer. You'll be able to boot from this USB flash drive and install Mac OS X Sierra on most Macs. Now you need the installer in your applications folder so you'll see here we don't have an installer. So the first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and download the Mac OS uh, Sierra installer. So it's free so you should be able to download it easily. Now typically you'll download it and then it will open and you'll run the installer. Here we're going to do things a little bit differently. So you see the download started here. We can check it in the launch pad. It's a large download of course, over 4 gigs, so it'll take a little while to run. Okay, the download is finished and we have our installer. So typically you'd hit the continue button here and run the installer, but we're going to quit. And we'll quit the App Store as well. We just need the installer to be sitting in our Applications folder. So if we open a window here, go into Applications, then we can see the install application is sitting right here. And we're going to use this to build our USB installer flash drive. So we need to use Terminal for that. So we'll go into Utilities and go into Terminal. And this is where we're going to enter the command. I put the command in the description for your reference, but we're going to go through it here in the video as well. The next thing to do is to put in your USB flash drive. So here we've got our drive. Now the important thing is that it is 8 gigabytes or larger. So here we see the system, it's an 8 gig drive, but the system is reporting 7.75. And the next thing we need to do is to format it and give it a name. So we're going to choose the flash drive here, hit erase, choose the Mac OS extended journal option, and we're going to give it the name Sierra Boot Installer or install, sorry, Sierra Boot Install. So you have to remember this name. We're going to actually use this name in the command. So we're formatting the USB here. It'll remount on the desktop with the name Sierra Boot Install. Great. We will quit Disk Utility. And we have our flash drive named correctly. So we're going to go back into terminal here and here is where we can enter our command. So we'll enter the command here using sudo or sudo sudo slash applications slash install macOS Sierra. You hit the tab key here and it auto completes that contents slash resources slash create install media space dash dash volume space slash volumes slash Sierra boot install which is the name of the flash drive we just put in space dash dash application path space slash applications and this is where we point it to the installer that we downloaded. Slash install, hit the tab, it'll autocomplete. Space, dash dash, no interaction, space, ampersand, ampersand, say, and then enter. It may ask you for your uh, password here. It'll erase the disk or the flash drive and copy the installer files to it. So it's important you don't have anything on there. It really should be a brand new USB flash drive because it's going to wipe out everything that's on there. Okay, it's copied the, all of the install files there. It says done here in the terminal. So now we're ready to use this. It's ready, you can use it on most Macs. 
And if we open it, we can see that the install file is here, and then there's also a secret boot partition that we can use to actually boot a Mac. So to do that, you insert your flash drive, start your Mac, hold down the option key, and you'll see we have your option to boot from your hard drive, or now from the actual USB key. So we're booting from the USB key here, pardon all the dust on the screen, and it comes up to the installer. So in this case, we're gonna use a disk utility to format the internal hard drive of this computer before we uh, run the installer. So we open up disk utility, and we can see all the disks that are in place. So in this case, we're choosing the internal drive, and we'll give it a name. We'll just call it Macintosh HD. Format the drive, it's done. It's a flash drive, so it goes really quickly. Now we quit disk utility here, and that'll put us back into the installer window. Choose install Mac OS, click continue, and you can run through the install process. It'll pull all the files off the hard off the flash drive rather than pulling them down from the internet. So your installs will be much quicker, especially if you have to do multiple installs or you want to keep a key around for maintenance. When you run through this process here, you don't have to be worrying about uh, using a lot of data from your internet connection or the speed of loading everything. So in this case, the install process is much, much quicker. And now we have a fully installed system ready to be used. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I put the command down in the description. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below. And as usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and share.